Okay, take a wild guess where we are. Just guess. New York City. New York City? Yeah. We got yeah. free tickets last night. <laughs> Whoa. Just kidding. We're actually in San Diego. We, we have a secret plan. My family for years, we've been sneaking into the Hyatt. I have to be really quiet. We're gonna be put on a block list. If we've been sneaking into the Hyatt. Um, it's like super easy to, to get in. You just really, you walk in, you get on the elevator, you come up, and here you are. And we go hot tubbing, so we're here with uh, my cousin Alyssa and her sisters Samantha and Bethany and Alyssa's boyfriend Jeff. And so yeah, it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna just hang out in the hot tub let's and go take a look. Yeah, let's go check out the hot tubs because they're cool. Ooh, ah, it's so pretty. Yeah. Feel the water, see if it's warm. I doubt it's warm. <laughs> Feel it. Oh, it actually feels pretty warm. I'm gonna jump in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I don't know. God. This wasn't like this when I wore it like How's a week ago. How's grandma's bathing suit going? <laughs> <laughs> this is like someone really big put it on. Sam's wearing my... Okay, listen. Can someone buy me a bathing suit for my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which jacuzzi do you want? They're both really full. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so full of people. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to sit? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We just got out of the hot tub, and it was a freezing cold walk over to this fire. Now we're trying to dry off. Ooh, mm. <laughs> sexy man. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna go to Blockbuster and rent a documentary or something. I feel like my camera is gonna melt in the flames. Ooh. Um, so yeah, we're going to rent a documentary or something and everybody's going to come over and we're going to make cookies, I think. Can you see all of San Diego? Oh, no. Aww. I don't think you have to pay. I'm trying to dry my butt. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I know, we could have taken less later. One, La Biel. Could you tell I was in the spa? No, you actually, yeah. like, your hair looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's a little cool. wet on the tips. Oh, yeah, it's really her Man, that was pretty bad. What? That fall. Oh, I know. We made it. I think we're gonna get out of here without getting arrested. Pretty sure. I'm in my kitchen, and I'm making candles. And, um... I'm pretty excited. I have all the melted wax right there. I just hate buying candles because they're so expensive and so I found this cool little jar right there and then I'm gonna make one with a can because I think it's kinda cool. So I just melted the wax and now I'm gonna pour it in. Um, first of all, I guess I should explain. Um, last night everyone ended up not coming over because it was still a school night and it was super late. It was like almost 11.30 or something. So everyone's coming over tonight and we're gonna watch a movie and have a fire and eat s'mores. I got stuff right there for s'mores. So anyways, all right. I don't know how I'm gonna put this camera so that you can see me pouring the candle, but we'll try. Okay, I'm kinda nervous. <laughs> I really hope this works and doesn't spill and that I don't burn myself. Oh, I have this. All I did was I took this wick out of the candle that I melted. So I didn't even have to buy a wick. Ah! Oh dear. I spilled. That didn't work out very well. My fingers are covered in wax! <laughs> Luckily it didn't, it didn't burn me too much. Okay, this is take two with, with the can. Okay. okay. 
Okay, so the first pour did not work out very good. The second pour, um, what I had to do for the can is because this wick that I got out of uh, the candles that I bought is too short for the can um, to put all the way in the bottom of the can. So what I did was I poured like an inch and a half of wax and then I'm going to let it harden and in the bottom and then that'll like be a platform for me to put the shorter wax, the wick on top. Um, so then it will be long enough. So hopefully that works. So, um, but also I got very excited because I remembered this mug that I got from Anthropology a while ago and um, when I was washing it one time I dropped it in the sink and the handle completely broke off. So I mean I guess I could still use it as a mug with no handle but I thought why not use it as a candle so I think I'm going to make this into a candle too. And it'll be cute and it's springy for springtime. Here's the can with the wax in the bottom. So now hopefully this will work. Now I just have to pour in the rest of the wax. Oh, and also, the first time I poured the candle I didn't have anything to like hold the wick steady and I tried to hold it with my hand. Well my fingers ended up getting completely covered in wax and like stuck together. So I had to like break them apart to get let go of the wick. And then the wick got all weak from the heat and like wanted to sink down. So I put a wire across the top with like a loop holding the wick. So. So hopefully this time it'll work a lot better. Fingers crossed. Okay, this is really disappointing. I was so excited about these candles and I really thought they were going to turn out good. Now after all of them have cooled, just look what has happened to every single one. That sunk down, that sunk, and now there's a hole, and then that one sunk. I don't understand. Josh is going to light them and see if maybe if we light them, the wax will melt and maybe like just fix itself. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, look. That's this so sad. This is how you do it. We do that. If we got, like, boiling water, can we just set this in the boiling water? No, I don't want to do that. Well, how, what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're afraid to light them because then the wick will just burn out because there's no wax to, like, well, it'll, support it. It'll just burn fast. Well, I don't know. I think we should maybe just light them. All right, well, they're lit. It's hard to tell on the camera, but I don't know. I guess this is why people do buy candles <laughs> instead of making them. 